Assalamu alaikum. My name is Talal. I'm a second year software engineering student at PSU. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install NetBeans and Java Development Kit on your computer. So the reason you need that is uh, <coughs> NetBeans is like the default uh, IDE at PSU, which is the Integrated Development Environment. So you're going to find it in courses like CS101, CS102, and uh, data structures. You're going to find it in a lot of different courses. So it's important that you know how to install it on your device so you can work on projects and assignments. OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and search for JDK with NetBeans. And we're going to hit Enter. So the first result you're going to find is this Oracle website. And there's going to be a bunch of download links. So you want to install NetBeans with the Java Development Kit on your operating system. So I'm doing it on Windows, so we have two options, Windows x86 and Windows x64. Uh, x86 may, uh, basically means uh, the 32-bit 30, uh, version of Windows, and uh, x64 means 64-bit. If you want to make sure uh, what version you have, you can go to System, and it's going to go to System Information, and there it is, x64-based PC. So we're going to go with the 64-bit version. And I think it's the most common one. Uh, so you have to accept the license agreement. If you have any objections, then you're not going to be able to install. So I'm going to install it with uh, Windows X64. I think it's the more common option. Like most devices now have uh, Windows 64-bit. So I'm going to install it right now. And we have to wait a little bit. Okay, so now it's done downloading. Now I'm gonna open the installer and continue from here. Of course, I'm, I'm gonna allow it to make changes on my PC. So this shouldn't take long. So, I'm just going to hit next, and usually you, you wouldn't want to change that, but if you need to, you can change the directory, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep it that way. And I'm not going to change any of that, so I'm going to hit next. So, this is going to tell you, uh, maybe you wanted to check for updates, so you can have the latest version. So now I'm going to hit install, and it might take a while. Okay, so as you can see, installation is completed successfully. And you can choose whether or not you want Oracle spying on you. I'm going to say no. And I'm going to finish the installation. Uh, so now, as you can see, it has created the NetBeans shortcut on my desktop. But before we open NetBeans, if you want to make sure that everything is working properly, so we're going to go to the start menu and write CMD. And we're going to take it to the command prompt. And then it's just going to say java space minus version. And it's going to tell you which version you're using. And that means it, it's successfully installed. So now you can go ahead and open NetBeans. And there you go. Now you can just create a new project, Java application. I'm going to call it this. Uh, and I'm going to finish. And you can start writing code. So I'm just going to do something, test it.
that's it. Now I'm gonna run it. So congratulations, that's an introduction on how to install and a little bit of using NetBeans. So I wish you all the best and see you later.